The president's, in my view, with all due respect, has been divide and conquer. People need hope. Borrow a little against that to be able to help us get to school. It's about accumulating wealth. What I, what I was against was giving states more money for prison systems. I think you have to make sure that fracking is, in fact, not admitting methane. That we set up national standards as to how to open up schools and open up businesses so they can be safe and give them the wherewithal, the financial resources to be able to do that. A dark winter and he has no clear plan and there's no prospect that there's going to be a vaccine available for the majority of the American people before the middle of next year. He did virtually nothing. I say we're learning to live with it. We have no choice. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement like Joe does. It's not my fault that he came here. It's China's fault. And you know what? It's not Joe's. I prepaid millions and millions of dollars in taxes. I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. You do. Malarkey. It's not about his family and my family. It's about your family. And your family's hurting badly. You're getting hurt badly right now. But that's the last thing he wants to talk about. There is no, he's never come up with a plan. I guess we're going to get the pre-existing condition plan the same time we get the infrastructure plan that we've been waiting since 17, 18, 19, 20. We should not send anyone to jail for a pure drug offense, what we should be spending money. That's why I set up drug courts, which were never funded by our Republican friends. And it's going to clean the environment, our health, and our jobs are at stake. My plan will in fact create 18.6 million jobs, seven million more than his, this is from Wall Street, and I'll create one trillion dollars more in economic growth than his proposal does. He has made everything worse across the board. 